and welcome to What's in This Box, where we're going to talk about something I bought so either you don't have to, or because you just can't make up your mind. I don't want to talk about the dreck that Nerf thinks is acceptable to sell to you. So instead, today, we're going to talk about the Take Flight by Detroit Dart Works. Take Flight is a solenoid-driven flywheeler, and this particular example was built by Alex at Detroit Dart Works, and it runs Band Blaster, Banshee Motors, and Flywheel of the World Micro Wheels. Comes in at 125 FPS. That makes it a safe for your local blaster battle that includes kids, zombies, or both. Now, because it's solenoid driven, it fires just as fast as I pull the trigger, which to me is great. I want that instant trigger response. I want to make that connection with that switch and just go. Some people will deride a solenoid driven system because it adds weight to the blaster, it adds current draw so you need a bigger battery, and it adds kick, which people will make fun of. But for me, that instant trigger pull is worth all that and more. The ability to make an assured snapshot can't be beat. And to put it in this fairly well-contained package that has so much style to it is just divine. When Alex took it from this package, when he decided that the Rival Takedown, already a gorgeous format with the little pump grip look, the sawed off, right? it looks good. And he said, well, what this really needs is to not fire goofy, high-impact Rival balls and instead fire good old reliable half darts. It was a match made in heaven. I personally have used this take flight at half a dozen wars, I've fired hundreds of rounds through it without any jams. And it's one of my very favorite blasters. And it's really the bell of the ball at any event I take it to. Because when you shoulder this, and when you take a shot at your buddy across cover, and you tag him that first time, and he realizes what just happened, you've done something pretty special. Because, yeah, a custom-made Griffin or a Quick or a Caliburn or whatever, they know what they're getting into. This has a little bit of that old-school sleeper appeal while still having a silhouette and a style all its own. For me, Take Flight's an 8 out of 10. It's not a perfect score because nothing is. But it's pretty close, and Detroit Dartworks did a really nice job with it. The only gripes I could possibly have with the system is it is a single dual-stage trigger assembly, right? Pull the rev, pull the fire. And if you don't know what you're getting into, you're not going to get that rapid response trigger pull like I got. Last war, I handed this off to one of my buddies. I let him run it for a couple of rounds. And he had some issues getting that trigger feel dialed in. By the end of the second round, he felt pretty good about it. He was having a good time. But that is a part of something like this, is understanding how it works. Now, do I think that in any way affects how desirable this should be to you? No. It's a really solid solenoid flywheel platform that doesn't require an absolute pile of printed parts and the printed parts it does require are internal. Those internal parts mean if your print quality is not quite as pretty as the guy next to you, you're not going to feel bad about putting this out and running it at your local. The other thing that's nice about it, for me, is that 130 target point. That on Flywheel the World wheels... And with those Banshee motors, this comes in at less than 130, which makes it eligible for most HVZ events and in essentially every Nerf PvP event. So if you have to travel, like we do out of Louisiana, and go a considerable distance, I can take that stock off, throw it in the stack, and with the rest of my gear, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space, which is really, really, really nice. So, Take Flight, 8 out of 10. It's a lovely compact package. It's got the upside and downside of the dual-stage trigger. 
But man, you can't beat the style.